seem to be. Oh god, they've all got bloody grenades. Oh, whoa! Oh god! Jackal Gang. Who the hell are the Jackal Gang? Um. Oh! Oh, shit ball. Um. I'm like a legs out. Shooting, Batman. She ain't dying. Why are you not dying? Unlucky mate, unlucky dude. That's it, you run punk. Uh, should we go for, should we go for his legs? Come on. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. He's actually limping. That is brilliant. God, this game is like years in front of his time, isn't it? Ah, oh, you're right, Blazing. How you doing, buddy? You need to go into Prim to talk to the people in the town. You're meant to go past the landmines. Okay. No need for water since you're not playing hardcore mode. Okay. Um, Come show, show us if they're friend or foe. Oh, I didn't think of that. Nice one, Tyco. Thanks, mate. The different gang factions are friendly to each other. That's the only way. I've been playing it, guys. If they shoot at me, it basically means that they're, they're not they're friendly. <laughs> Case. Oh, Alright, we don't need to. Uh, uh. So who were these then? So we had the Jackal Gang. Oh, and the Convicts. Oh, the Convicts were uh, having a fight with the local gang. Oh, a Varmint Rifle. Yes. Yes, yes. Actually, while we're here, go and do our repair on the Varmint. Excellent. Excellent. Now... One, two, three. Did we search this guy here? Oh, there's that. There are two bodies here. A cowboy repeater. What's that? What sort of weapon. Oh, there is so much. Um, another varmint rifle. There is so... I can't remember. Uh, stats. How are we actually looking? Like a shitload of damage. Hit points. 96 out of 190. I don't get that. I mean, it's saying the hit points. I mean, that's pretty much half, right? So how come none of the bars on the little character look particularly reduced? You know what I mean? I mean, my head, my torso, sort of right arm, right leg. And they look damaged, but they don't look that bad, do they? Seems a, seems an awful lot. Oh, oh something not right here. Because that's never going to get to 190, is it? So how do I just heal myself? Or is that what stim packs are for? Do the doctors bag it? Someone explain that to me. So the stim packs are specifically for limbs, yeah? So stim packs are the only way to get limbs back and running. How do I get my hit points, my general hit points back up? Stim packs for normal hit points. Wait, let me do it. There's 15 stim packs, press A for stim packs. Oh! Oh, it, it did it that time. Ah, 
Okay. I think I get it. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> you are explaining, but that damn Twitch that I know is horrible, isn't it? Remember what it used to be like on Twitch? Oh, God. Days, weren't it? Sometimes you'd be streaming, be like a three or four. Oh, whoa, what the hell are they? Three or four. What the hell are they? They look like naked dudes. Oh my god, they're not zombies, are they? Really wish I could zoom in. Well, those the best attitudes I have is they ain't bothering me. So. Add a stim back in your hot board. That's a good idea, Dicor. Don't use stim packs to heal limb. Right, okay. What 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 would I use to steal limbs? Oh, to heal limbs then. Or should I just just some over there as well, look. Like, like a crow. See it just down there to the right of the cacti. Cactus. Ooh. Well, I think we need to go in here. And get a shot out, our uh, pit boy light on. Tell you what, let's not be daft. Let's throw in a save. They are ghouls. Hello, duck farts. How you doing, buddy? Ghouls, you say? Ghouls. Uh, you now. I was gonna say. Oh my god. You like that? Fucking Jesus Christ! Oh shit! Sorts of horrible things in here. Ooh. Yeah. I so much. Gotta be careful with this um right. squirrel on a stick. Oh, open vest. I just gotta go through this door then. Uh, a little bit stealthily. Ooh. Very easy, I reckon. Miss that then. You're right, sushi. How you doing, Nick? You heal limbs by just resting. Okay, how, how, hello, Ray. Rest. How bad are ghouls? They like. They really bad ass, or. Like, as in, stay well clear. Oh shit, there's something in there, look. Ah! Little beast. Reckon they can actually get out of there. Get a pit more light on. Else in here, so. uh, 
this? Activate a reloading bench. What's that? Oh. What the hell? So I can break down, break down scrap, scrap metal to lead. What would that give me then? So, I'd end up with 200 lead, but what, what would I use the lead for? I have no idea what this is all about. You can just step on them. Really, Grey Strum? Oh, nice one, dude. How's uh, ammo crafting? So I can break down... Oh, uh, right. So how come I can't craft anything? Is that because I've not got the powder? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Ah, right, okay. That is that is really cool. I did not know there was anything like that. Is that like a new edition? Some of the DLC or something, maybe? A Hydra's some kind of bot. So you're telling me I can just jump on these mofos then, yeah? I'll tell you what my art skipped to be then, I thought something terrible had happened. <sighs> that dude's helmet looks... Oh god, are these the cards? That stupid caravan gang. Merc Charmer, BT's only one, that's not it, is it? Take the whiskey and vodka. Oh, mind you, it's melee weapons plus two. Fine figure of a man. Look, look at the toes. It's actually got toes now. So there's horrible things that we had. Right, so I'm now obviously overloaded. It's a problem. Getting near garbage can. Close that. Um. Okay. Items apparel. Quite like the thought of wearing that helmet. It's got a DT of three and the hat is only one. So we'll wear that. Um, the lightweight metal armor is DT 12. No, which actually reduces my agility by one. The Merc Charmer outfit. Got a DT of one, which is awful, isn't it? I do get plus two guns. I don't think it's worth it, is it, to be honest. And the Wasteland Doctor Fatigues gives me med plus five. If I was to wear that and then use a stim pack on it, it do anything? You know, do I do I get healed better? That makes sense. Or not. Got a wide l oh good. Get rid of the Merc. Get rid of the Break down ammo you don't use to save space. The trouble is Doc, I've not really chosen what I'm gonna use yet, mate. You know what I mean? Um Get rid of that cleaver. We'll do what Fortune suggested, which I have to say is a fantastic. Which is just repair everything. That's already dropped more. Wait, right there. Farming rifle's better than we've ever had it. I suppose we can put the cowboy hat away. Um, this broader cowboy hat, we'll put that away. I should really just go and sell all of this stuff and just keep like some basic, shouldn't I? 
Um, you would heal more, but it's not worth it. So should I just get? Should I just put it away then? Because it's quite heavy. Well, it's not that heavy. What's this helmet look like? God, I've got the camera in the right funny place. Oh, fucking hell, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's nice, I like. That was pretty cool, actually. Wait, hello there. Okay, um... I think that was it. Oh, God, I just smacked myself in the face. Oh, plus five runs per second, that wasn't the smartest. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Um, switch to our long range. The cowboy repeater is a better gun, but ammo for the vermin rifle is common. I usually use the vermin for roaming and a stronger rifle for, for mobs. Okay, mate. Yeah, I quite like this vermin. It's sort of, you know, it's as close as I've got to sort of role playing my potential sniper anyway, to be fair. Um, well, I guess we just need to. I'll tell you what, let's throw in a save. So, I'm not just so you know, I'm not saving because I'm worried about things fucking up. You know, I'm not one of these people that's obsessively relayed every time something goes wrong, as you saw yesterday when old Ringo died. Um, well, holy shit, that was a lot of. But, but I'm, I'm saving because uh, of the notoriety this game has for crashing, and I have to say, I mean, we've got a lot of mods running, and some of them actually affect the physics engine in the game, which is like notoriously not wise. <laughs> um, I think the only mod I have fucked up on is the flashlight NVSE, which I apparently needed to reinstall after I'd installed my hood, but I am very confident. Oh, there's something else over there, look. How tough are those ghouls, guys? I mean, would that be a really bad idea to try and take one of those on? I'm loving this game, I tell you, it's absolutely marvellous. It really is. It's they could just get like a super duper modern skin and oh wow look at that dude right I reckon let's see we're going to vats premium premium see as much as i enjoyed skyrim i always i don't know there's something kind of cool about this kind of post-apocalypse. I suppose it just appeals to that um, sense of zombiness. I bet there's loads of cool zombie mods for it. Ringo died. He did die, Coy. Yes. Sorry, mate. I, I think I may actually have contributed to his death somewhat when I went into panic mode with the grenade launcher. Is that actually the prison? Can't be, can it? I don't know, I don't know what the hell that is. So how do we get across here then? Strong was saying we needed to get across. Why are you impressed with such a meh world? You can't say this is a meh world, Rayaras. Really? For a game that's this old and still, you know, got so much to offer. I mean, don't forget, I've only, you know, maybe the whole thing's like this, I don't know, but... They respond to appendage shots well. Where's my car? Where's my car? Well, let's see if we can find a way in here. <laughs> yeah, it's Ringo's fault. I mean, to be fair... 
I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Mountains are there. <laughs> it's because we're running at max view distance. Go and kill those geckos. Oh, not kill them. See, this is what I like about this game. I don't feel the need to just do whatever I'm being told to do. I kind of just like exploring. I suppose I should have made some farming, farming or farming or whatever the hell rifling animation. Should have listened to Daikoi. You won't hear me say that very often. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure, you know, I, to be honest, you say it's now, so I, I can sort of understand it if nothing else changes, but I'm, I'm hoping there'll be some, uh, some interesting places to visit, I mean, maybe I'll be oh, fucking awesome. I really like the VAT system. I should actually put a disclaimer on the stream, shouldn't I say, because a lot of people moan and bitch about vats. It should never have been a game. I should just be played like a first person shooter. Not the way I play. You did kill a kid and his puppy. What? Oh, I never did that. <laughs> oh did he? <laughs> I feel better for that grey story. So it wasn't it wasn't I didn't contribute to him with uh, a bit of splash damage from the grenade launch, you know? I kind of assumed that was what happened. This does make me sort of want to go back and revisit Skyrim in a way, but something about the combat in Skyrim. Well, it hasn't really got a combat system, has it? That's the The, everything about the melee combat. I've really tried so many different mods. Um, do you reckon we could get in the car and do a wheelie over the fence? That would fuck the game off. If we can get around and dropping around the back, look. Still not sure why Ringo's head popped off. <laughs> it definitely did, didn't it? <laughs> Yep. Yep. Got to be a way in, hasn't it? Hey, what's this over? This reminds me a little bit, actually, of Stalker. Shadows, Shadows of Chernobyl. That. All of Pikyat. Oh shit, we got a storm coming in. Fuck. Ah. Can't get over there. Trouble here, guys. <laughs> Where's the nearest? Oh, God. Um... Radiation. Port. 
poisoning. Shit. So shall I use for my next now? Or shall I just... Uh, I just don't know what to do. She's the Rad X. Let's try and get that as fast as we can. I'm going to go away to be going any faster. I think it's got my resistance, so it's, it's three, so I've got four on air. That's, and that's a lot of rads per second, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Oh God. to get rid of that then. Items. Aid. Anti-venom. No. The doctor's bag restores all body parts. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll tell you, I'm going to eat a fresh potato. I was, I was a bit too panicked to read what it said. How did it say I got rid of my... Uh, poisoning because I'm about to hit the, on the needle at the top look it actually it's hovering close to what is a red indicator which I can only assume is really not good uh, my endurance is minus two I've got advanced radiation poisoning um, we are look, looking pretty bad here boys And I've also got, I've just realised also, I've also got no bottle caps to pay, well I've got 66. You've got to have Radaway, which I, I, I assume the way you said that I haven't got any. No, I've only got Radex, guys. Um, I suppose we'll just have to sleep for a few hours then. I'm just going to put us in the middle of the night. So that's not good, is it? <sighs> bloody hell. Bloody, bloody hell. Is that storm zone? Okay. Right. I'm going to go and make myself a coffee, I think. How do we... Oh. Scared. What is it? How do I get into Prim, mate? Sir. Do any of you know? Someone in chat must know how to get into Prim. Mind you, my endurance is reduced. Does that also therefore affect my hit point? It doesn't seem to have reduced them on 90. Who knows? I kind of wished I'd gone hardcore in a way. The water and the food and the sleep thing would be quite 
fun managing all of that. I suppose like Fortune said, it's probably best not first playthrough. I think I'll go make a coffee. If anyone knows how to um I'll leave you there. If anyone knows how to get to print, type out guys, I will be back in a moment. couple of houses that lead into Prim. Oh shit, is it another? Is there another bloody store? Take it, this isn't the radiation. This is getting silly. Oh, look at this poor bastard. What is it? Sir. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? So hang on. So everyone's basically saying go across the bridge, which is fine, we can do that, but Grace from you're saying um, go south and follow the road because there's a couple of houses that lead into the bridge. That sounds quite a good idea. What down here, mate? Danny, you're talking about me. I mean, are we talking all the way down here? Or... Is it another Rex vehicle? A 
bit pissed these storms keep popping up. Bloody hell. It's not going to make life very easy, is it? Really important NPC part, Charles. <laughs> uh, he ain't looking too good there, is he? Come on, Malcolm, let's get you up here. Let's have a look at you. Oh, man. Fucking arms. Oh! <laughs> it's over the fucking edge now. <laughs> Welcome! I'm sorry mate! I'm so sorry! Just made your shitty day even worse. Look at that, that may actually be his head. <laughs> that is fucking awesome dude! Sorry bud. Get you there now, just in case we need you for a, for a plot of continuation or something later. I don't know where to go, I really don't. Probably put this away actually. It's not important, it just tells you about a quest. That was a good idea you came up with there, mate. Let's just check quest arrow. Boom, uh, place marker and remove it. Let's 
So that's where we're going in there, basically. Right? Have a little scout around. I am going to save here now. Oh, don't come in here with your dicoy bullshit, BK. God almighty, that's all we've heard from him for the last 24 hours, mate. He's, you, you, you're both obsessed. Obsessed, I tell you, mate. Look, I'm going to say it right now, right? Just because you can't afford a PS4, right? There's no need to start going all oity coity about old Gabe Newell. All. Right, lads? <laughs> You wouldn't let it lie! Oh, hang on, that's my phone going. Hang on. So I'm not sure who that actually was, so... Open, it up. Open the door to Prim House, you get a shotgun out, go in. Let's do this! Anyone there? Anyone there? Anyone there? Oh, oh. Don't tell me my car's blown up, mate. I don't want to wear that. How you doing anyway, BK? How did the uh, block paving go, mate? You've done a, a sterling job on it? Sunset Sasparilla. Sunset Sasparilla. Iguana bits. It looked like someone was having their lunch. I don't think there's really any. Uh, let's have. Let's go out of here. This is because you've never had the pleasure of holding the dual shock for BK. It's it's an absolute beautifully manufactured little device. Really, yeah. Joy to behold. I remember when I first got the PS4 out of the box, and then it was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. In terms of the console, because I'd seen the console, obviously. And at the end of the day, I just sit there looking pretty. But I was so excited to actually use Because I always really liked um, DualShock 3. Whereas most people preferred the Xbox 360 controller. And I've got to admit... I've got to admit, I used the, the Xbox 360 controller a lot more than I used the uh, DualShock 3 because obviously there were so many compatible games. Um, you know, I bought myself the USB wireless dongle for the 360. And um, I don't know if that's really very important. As a result of that, I played a lot of my you know console port games using the 360 controller, which is marvellous. It has got an incredible vibration on it. Yeah, you're right, mate. Is what was that? What were we playing the other day when it went? It, oh, it went absolutely crazy on there. Oh, what game? Oh, it must have been Destiny. It's got to have been Destiny. Any game we sort of hammered. It was that or Metro. But I don't don't recall it being. I don't really think there's anything here, to be honest. Should we just go into that, uh, Vicky? Oh, shit, I'm lost. What's up, BK? You still have the Logitech F710 you bought a few months back, haven't you? See, one of the, the other thing is, as well, BK, it tends to make some, something you're probably not. 
there of in terms of difference it sometimes makes, but it playing with the controller can sometimes make for a bit of a steadier stream. You'll notice that I, I do try and keep my movements fairly sort of smooth and everything. It just you know like if you're watching someone play what? You know if you're watching someone like constantly zipping around all over the place like that. Especially if they're playing mouse and keyboard on games like this, you, you can you very quickly get not just disorientated, but you can start messing with your fucking head a bit. Steal the switch. Oh, it's in his eyeball! Holy crap! Yeah! My socket. There we go. What's that, Ray Rash? You, you're a 360 controller lover. It's much more ergonomic to hold the pad in some way with both hands. It is. It's very nice. I, I, I struggle now to really even consider PC games that don't have controller support, to be honest. And, and in fairness, most of them do now, don't they? Um, it'll be very interesting to see what happens when the Steam controller comes out. That it's, it's got some sort of haptic touchpad, hasn't it? It's, you know, it could be marvellous. What I've seen of it, I don't think I'll enjoy it. <laughs> There's something about the twin sticks that, you know, it works. It works, doesn't it? Let's make that a Nevada Skies thing. Oh shit, that was my front doorbell. Hang on a sec, folks. Sorry about that, thanks. So my girlfriend's just come back. All good, all good. You had your hands on gaming's newest innovation. That is worth the wait, and it's awesome. What? Oh, what? what? Really, Ray S? Oh, Ray S, please tell me more. You've actually used the new Steam controller. Oh, you lucky monkey, you. Throwing a save because uh, I'm sure when we last did that, I'm fucking sorry. That was my girlfriend. Uh, we did check that guy. Right, let's go in here then. Should go kind of all stealth mode so you can creep in. I don't Whoa. know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Cool. More dialogue. So, what were those 
dudes doing outside then? These guys look like they're quite friendly. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. This is the guy we came to see. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Well, we have got the delivery order. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Oh, right, rest no way. Your cousin's boyfriend had the beta for the steam machine box, which itself is crap. But the controller feeling cannot be compared to anything. Oh, Ray Ress, and you've used controllers from what you were saying, yeah? You like the 360. So you telling me, right, that haptic touchpad thing works? Please tell me it does, because I must admit, it looks absolutely fascinating. Uh, what's that, Dark It's bandits that have taken over the town, the citizens are hiding. Ah. It's a little light touch screen. Little light touch. But does that translate well in something like a first person shooter, though, Rayo You know what I mean? Rather, you know, like with a stick, you know if it's like left, you know if it's right. I mean, is it easy to. I don't know, it just seems like weird. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different a pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Well, that's weird, isn't it? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Huh. Uh, you played Portal 2 on it, it's very intuitive. Oh, you've given me, um... I've, I've not spoken to anyone who's had, like, hands-on experience with it, right? That's fantastic. Cowboy robots. He's, he's presumably Victor, or is he talking about one here? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. He had himself a face on a screen, and he talked more like you or me. Yeah. Some men stole age, a man in a checkered suit, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Oh, right, Rash is selling that well. I, that, that sounds like perfect mix. There's analog light steering on the walk. Precise as mouse and the camera control. Wow. Jesus. It was delayed, wasn't it? From what I understand. It was due to get bit more of a public release at some point this year and they delayed it until like next year now haven't they uh, one of those men shot me <laughs> well for that your best bet is going to be talking to deputy Beagle deputy since Beagle. they came to town he was keeping a good bit of notes on him and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through he may have heard where they were going wow all the plots suddenly uh 
flowering now, isn't it? Uh, I'd like to ask you that. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Where can I get information on the man that shot me? A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay. I want to ask you some more about the delivery of this post. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Don't go getting yourself shot. We will try. We will try. Oh my god. This looks cool. Pretty slot machines. How's that? Mow the law, slaves. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Oh, that's hurting my ears. That's horrible. Um, who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Oh, God. Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prem Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Yeah, okay. What's that? It was delayed because Linux is not the best gaming operating system. Valve wanted too much money for letting producers make it. Like 50% of the sales in. Jesus Christ. Wow. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first. Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central US like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cash and fraud, <laughs> and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just <laughs> over yonder. I wonder and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of like prize, potential prize or something. Tell me about Vicky and Vance. No. Tell me about Prim. Yeah. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Okay. Um... What's this place? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeah. Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! So, uh, right, what about that hotel? <clears throat> The Bison Steve is one of Prem's less impressive casino hotels. Oh, I'd steer cool. clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Jack Rumor is out. the dealers over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. <laughs> Happy oh. trails, partner. I like this, just sort of getting a, a flavour for the uh, locale here. What are these things? Vending machine. Is that Sassabella? Oh. He seems to be stuck. This track. That's John Hi. Johnson who spoke to me. Come to the wrong place, traveler. Prim's dying. Got any sense of be moving on? Okay. Yeah, look at John. Oh, he did say something about yeah. a machine gun in the uh, what's it? Oh God, sorry, mate. Anyhow. Rather be left alone to my misery, if you don't mind. Oh! Oh my God! 
Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Wow, it's like a wrinkly Prim look. Well, that don't sound like a uh, fun virus. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. <laughs> I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. Sounds and it nice, numbs actually. your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a <laughs> Maybe tongue. Not that bit. It's perfectly safe long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. <laughs> uh, alright. That's some of that. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands Shit, you got? Shit, what a Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Maybe we Come never back have any. when you do. Bye. Hmm. Strange. Some very strange people. It looks like a bank, isn't it? Like a vault. Just bear with me one sec, hang on. Okay, so what, for some reason, um, sand gone there. Just the music. It's alright, it seems the frame rate seems to be. Well, it's not the frame rate, the frame rate's solid. It's just, it's like a, a jerkiness to everything. I don't know if you can hear that. Hey there. Before the powder gangers came to town, Johnson Nash ran the local store in the Mojave Express station. Yeah, that's really weird. It's like, um. I, I, I suppose this guy is it's a miracle, isn't it? Hey there. Rather be left alone to my misery if you don't mind. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna save the game quickly. And I think what I'm gonna do is. Oh, actually, hang on. What time is it? Oh, it's quarter past six. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, folks. I think what I need to do is just be. No, it's no, it's all smooth again. That's weird. Nice light is, uh... I don't get that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and grab something. I didn't even realize it was that light. I'm gonna go and grab something to eat, and then I shall return. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I, I like it, and I think the fact that there's so much dialogue and sort of backstory is it's, uh, making a pleasant change to, to um, crack on this. I really need to do The Last of Us as well, so we'll have a look at that um, maybe later in the week. We did start it a couple of weekends back, didn't we? Obviously, Destiny coming out. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. It's only been like a two and a half hour or so stream, but um, yeah, I thought we'd sort of check those mods out primarily, get the car and the flashlight, which is sort of open to get sorted yesterday, but we've never got a chance to. So at least we've got those working. Um, yeah, see you later, Rares. Thanks for that. Um, well, I'm going to go and have a little bit of a YouTube on that um, Steam controller as well. If we find out exactly at what point we are with that, because uh, that will be a day one purchase when and if it ever comes back. All right, folks, look forward to seeing you soon. You stay safe and look after yourselves. Thank you very much for watching.